All right, here we have uh, a okay. setup. What you see in question two, a test tube filled with mercury to about six and a half cm, and it is inverted into a reservoir of mercury in the cup in the glass. And of course, inside the test tube, there you have air. Uh, otherwise, if it is a torricillin vacuum, you will have to go up seventy six cm, and we don't have a vacuum chamber that is seventy six cm tall. And right now, I can, you notice, I can uh, <coughs> take up the vacuum chamber like that. I can open it up, right? Huh? I, I can open the cover up so easily because there is air pressure inside helping me to push it, push the base and the cover apart. So now we are going to connect it to a vacuum pump and let the vacuum pump work. Okay, let it work and evacuate the air and let's see what happens to the level of mercury inside all right now we switch on the vacuum pump and see that can you see it's slowly going down all right let's let's stop it it's, it's slightly tilted over it's okay but let's exhort it a little bit. In fact, uh, it can go below, the level can go below, uh, can go below the <coughs> level of the mercury in the reservoir. Let's try that. So now it has gone below, is it not? Can you see it has gone below? Slightly, or oh, can't see that so well. Can't see that so well, okay. Uh, let's see going going below. Uh. Let's see going below. Can you see it's gone below? Why well, it's almost the same height, but it actually can go below because if the outside pressure is lower than the pressure of the expanded air inside the test tube so that can push that below the reser uh, level of the reservoir let's try that again sure you will go below and you see it's gone below slightly uh, it's gone below slightly all right now because there is a partial vacuum inside here uh, we can actually lift this one up And the whole thing should hold. Uh, the whole thing should hold like that. Okay. And what happens if I let the air in? So if I let the air in, and you find that the level of mercury in the test tube will come back. Can you hear the air going back in? Yeah. It should go back to the same level, but if none of the air came out from the test tube, uh, it should go back to the same level. But if some of the air came out from the test tube, just now you saw it tilted over, right? If some of the air comes out from the test tube, then this one will not be the same amount. Now, if it's tilted like that, you cannot measure along the test tube. You must measure the vertical height. Is that clear? Uh, that is very important. Uh, you tilt back, you tilt back, you, then you measure. You tube back so I can lift up this cover easily now and you tube back and then you measure it should be about the same height of seven uh, six and a half cm uh, it should be of the same height let's try and see whether it's of the same height six and a half cm <coughs> yeah it's Ah, uh, no. In fact, it's more. Oh, yeah, it's all more because some of the air came out, so the pressure is less. Huh? So it's actually more. Wow. Okay, man. Thank you. Uh -huh.